Welcome to another Pike and Shot Battle. This is Decile Bridge 1626. Uh, if I recall my reading correctly, which I might not, I have Mansfeld's Protestant army under my command against Wallenstein's Catholics, although maybe that's wrong. I'll have to check for later. Anyway, the Catholics are dug in in a strong position with medium fortifications and hedges and the like. And I have to assault. Victory conditions are standard. So, I suppose we can begin our cannonade by seeing if we can reach the cavalry. And try to score some disruptions early on. Okay, I don't think I'll rush with cavalry right away, uh, as I believe there's more light foot in these woods. So instead, we we'll want to explore that. That's just beyond musket shot. The fortifications, well, it says here in the tooltip, disorders attackers, offers two thirds cover from fire. So we're going to try to go around, basically. All right, let's just start. Next turn. All right, if this horse is just gonna sit here, we're gonna keep bombarding it. Good. Maybe I should keep one infantry unit in the center. I wouldn't be surprised if there was commanded shot or something in that forest. I've played the scenario from the other side before, it's just been a while. Oop, might take take a little bit of fire there. Oh well, got lazy. Next turn. Some Johnson's challenging me. Oh, that's right, I do owe him a Minden game. Me as a French, so I guess I can do that. Entirely forgotten about that. I'll tell him I'll play it if he really wants me to, although I don't really find myself loving those enormous sized 7 years war scenarios. Well, let's continue oh, blocking my own line of sight. What am I doing? I don't even know. Good.
Let's see if we can't catch this unit. Oh no, we've just completely doomed our cavalry. Well, that happens sometimes. I'm not really sure how to approach this position, but I guess we'll keep creeping forward for the moment. Next turn. Let's take cover in the wood here and keep maneuvering to the side. All of our cavalry is right there, so they can shoot for whatever that's worth. I guess we're going to have to make use of it due to our lack of infantry. All right. All right, I was trying to wriggle my way out of a promise I made to play the other side of Minden. <laughs> and he said, I'll, you'll, I'll hold you to it. Uh, all right, all right, we'll do it. I just find those huge Seven Years War scenarios just totally overwhelming. And they take so long. But we're going to do it, because we made a promise. And I really cannot deny that he has some moral high ground. We need to do more of that sort of thing. All right, I guess our writer are gonna ride up close and start shooting. I really don't like the idea of engaging these entrenchments though. We need to take that flag too, that's another possible way to win, but I don't really see how to do that. Let's push into charge range of these lights. Fall back and open up a lane of fire. Okay. Next turn. Let's 
So much useless cavalry. What am I supposed to do with them all? Some hits, please, but better, but better, no, okay. Good. In charge. Next turn, we'll flank the commanded shot. Meantime, I suppose we'll get shot at by this Tercio. Right. Try to at least charge down slope here. Veterans might be a bad idea to have moved out. Well, now we need to at least commit enough to pin these units in place. That also sets a timer, of course, on how long we can just sit there. Yeah, I'm not really sure how to go about this scenario. I mean, obviously from what I'm doing, but I really don't know how I could do better. All right, I guess. I mean, not really, but there we go. Next turn. Oh, what a shame. Okay, not really sure what I'm supposed to do here. Well, we go for the break, of course. But cavalry isn't really the problem anyway.
suppose we'll try to push downhill here out of lack of anything better to do. Run away, Ben. Pull back. Yeah, that's not the place to be. Neither of this, neither is this, to be honest. But <sighs> raw. Ugh. Yeah, those trenches, I just, I have no idea how to go about this. I mean, nibbling at the flanks is the best choice, of course, but I left myself dangerously exposed in the center. Well, okay then. So I guess SM Johnson has won this from both sides somehow by capturing the flag. Um, that's a nice theory, except he's got this veteran Tercio unit hanging out on the flag, and I don't really know how to move him off of it. Oh, got that rear charge for us. Excellent. Oh great, everyone here is just going to disrupt. Well, he moved off the flag. I wonder if we can find a way to ninja it. It seemed terribly likely. Okay, well, they haven't turned around yet, unfortunately. We'll turn around next turn, and hopefully, then we can get a rear charge and frag and break them. This is a downhill attack, so, yep, we're gonna do it choices that are getting shot at. Pursue them, and then... Oh, that works too. Okay, next up, get out of musket shot. Can we hit them? Only at half arc. Then turn the guns. Get out if you can. Uh, impact is bad, but if we stick it, we should win in a drawn out melee, even though they are protected. Old veterans. So, here, shove off. And our detached musketeer is firing. Well, 
Wonderful. And I think that's it for now. Our only hope is to overrun this sector of this army and try to push past this way, but I don't think it's going to happen. Next turn. They fell back in place, which is something units can do in Pike and Shot. They cannot do in Field Glory 2. Too bad. So maybe that'll be our salvation. I think it's too late though, we're losing too many units on the left wing. And the right wing. Well, let's get the frag. Let's see if we can't break them on contact. Good. Turn and face the enemy. No dice. Let's attempt to cover our guns from the mounted arquebusiers, but we can't protect them both, unfortunately. Charge. I was hoping we could charge and push away from this disaster that's about to occur. something. Okay. Next turn. Pursuing here, so it's half POA to shoot at them. But why he doesn't just charge here?
That's good. We needed that quite badly. Frag to them. Gonna start trying to arc around. We'll lose these two units. And with that, I think we will withdraw. See if we can't disrupt these crosshairs before we lose our guns. Got one more shot at it this turn. Oh no, we don't, because the hussars are actually blocking it. How irritating. Alright then. First off, we... Let's do our downhill charge. Then our horse crash into these hussars and just see where it takes us. Oh, well, it might take us into getting flanked, but too late now. And right her to join in the shooting. Perfect. Keep these musketeers at long range until they rally up. And let's at least prevent a charge on these medium guns. You can still break free and charge the heavy guns, but they are protected by the hedge, so hopefully they can bounce them. Alright, so our hope is to destroy these two units and then put the pressure on this later tercio in the light fortifications and maybe somehow break the crossers with artillery fire. If we could break this frag unit as well, that would be a bonus. It's going to be difficult though because we really cannot touch the infantry in the medium fortifications. Next turn. Oh, they fell back. Should bounce that? Yes. Thanks to protection. All right, let's see if we can't break this fragged unit. First with cannon fire, then musketry. We're gonna have to risk losing this unit now. Well, I suppose our flank is protected by the hedge. Back out of range of these entrenched units. No, thank you. Next. 
continue our thus far totally hopeless attempts to... Uh, nope, they're holding firm. Extra cohesion check on this unit. Later Tercio. Got the frag, charged with the cavalry. Good. Next, we bring up more firepower. This unit is only lightly fortified for whatever that's worth. I think it might be worth trying to... Oh yeah, absolutely it's worth it. Get past those trenches. Now we can fight on even terms. I guess there's nothing better for you to do than to pick at this light horse. Get in. Statter gets shot at. It's not good odds, but we can wear them down a bit closer to auto break at least. And this writer can prepare to join the main combat there. While our infantry here will continue to sit peacefully out of range. Actually, here, why not? Take a few pot shots. Once again, cat related audio interference. So, first 50 seconds of this turn is muted, but it's really just the residual fire in melee phases. Finally, close to breaking those like guns. The horse is definitely going to break. The enclosure that later Tercio is sitting in does offer cover, although my men have cover as well. The hedge protects us from the flank attack there. Rear charge. So the later Tercio is immune to flank, but not rear attack. Uh, it's rear attack from light cavalry, so it's done an automatic drop. Bounce it. Oh, we disrupt against the lights. How obnoxious. Good. I wonder, we could attempt a disrupt before contact. Well, let's try to break them with the charge. Good. Disrupted these veterans as well, so we will push to engage them. Goodbye to our detached musketeers. So it goes. And goodbye to our artillery as well. These right are out of the way for one last shot. Nope, they're gonna hold firm. Okay. Too bad. Good. Yeah, 
let's attempt to get these writer passed. Ah, uh, these fortifications. If we can break this unit and try to get through here, we'll see about that though. Next turn. Oh, we're so close. We're up 23. Unfortunately, we're going to lose some units this turn. Yep, there goes our lead. Good. Break, but we held firm here and that's a crucial cohesion check. The problem coming up is going to be the fact that this unit is already disrupted, so we're probably going to get charged soon. Um, yeah, and that's just not going to go well. Let's see if our guns can't do... No, they're pursuing, so it's pretty much pointless. In that case, we will... What? Pound them move in for close quarters musketry and move this steady unit towards intervention in this melee. Bring these writer back around. Ship these as well. Okay. Next, why don't we see if we can't soon get in position to flank these crosshairs. Add a cohesion check and add a cohesion check. Just gonna have to abandon our gun to their mounted arc series. It's not worth chasing them around. We do have a real chance to cause disruption on this later tercio and the light fortifications, I think. Okay, that's it. Next turn. Oh, God damn it. Now the question is, do I want to join in the fun here or try to break this frag unit with the charge?
Mm -hmm. Well, our lead is declining. Could try to, let's see here. Well, what about... No, the answer is just no, apparently. Let's get these lights out of here. Push our later Tercio into place. Once these crosshairs break, then we can charge without hitting the fortifications. In the meantime, I was hoping to... Alright, whatever. That's fine. Here. Break them. Then pursue into the front. Okay. Get out. Get out of there. If we can break this unit and seize the trenches, we might have a chance. It's still looking very difficult. Even if we break these two units, it's going to be tough to shift these tercios out of their fortifications. Maybe if we break these two, the thing to do would be to push hard against the tercio holding the objective point. Next turn. Our lead is shrinking. veterans. Tough to disrupt and tough to keep disrupted. Good. Bounce them. Yep. It's a shame to lose the artillery, they're very useful for causing extra cohesion checks. Try to break them. Good. And we've covered our rear by turning that way. Better. Now we can occupy the fortifications, which should make us difficult to shift. Zone of control lock the crosshairs and auto break them. Condition checks, no. Charge with the disrupted units or otherwise useless. Okay. And then, what? We will slip our lights towards this hedgerow and can try to start sniping at this veteran unit holding the objective. Unfortunately, we don't really have a good way yet to get around this unit. I think what we'll have to do this turn is keep shooting. Next turn, we'll push the raw later tercio into zone of control lock, and then move the later tercio around to try to get over it that way.
right. Let's add our pistols. 66% cover is extremely difficult to cause a cohesion check. But there is still some hope, I think. Getting a GG, so it looks like it's done. We made it. I really was at a loss earlier when I was confronting the trenches and my left was collapsing. But I think the key was this here. He was holding these hedgerows, which is fine and all, but they were downhill. And I was able to get just enough firepower, especially with the cohesion checks caused by my three now dispersed batteries to break through, uh, combined with the fact that at least almost all of my cavalry can shoot with their pistols instead of just charging. So the writer actually came in useful for once. They're not a troop type I'm generally fond of due to their expense. But yeah, a good game to my opponent. Until next time.